and then in Charleston. Mm -hmm. And then we went to her house and she I slept on the couch. She said, You can stay here now if you want to. She was real super nice. Probably. And I'm a Christian, so I wasn't gonna go in there and take her to the bed or something, you know. Mm. So anyway, she said, you know, we're gonna become friends first. Well, the next one, she fixed me an egg sandwich. That was fine, but it wasn't about two hours later. I smelled like, I said, she's making spaghetti or something. She'd got an old Tupperware thing on the fridge or like that. And she'd heated it up. And she always said, you know, I don't buy very many groceries at all because it's just me. <laughs> and she, when I, I got that stuff, that, the spaghetti hamburger meat had lumps like that in it. And uh, she put, she said, do you want some cheese on it? I thought she was talking about sprinkling. And I swear to God, that stuff she put on top of it. When I was eating it, I was like, oh, well, it looked like flakes of fish food. <laughs> You know, instead of grated up cheese, that was about two hours later, I said, I gotta go. My stomach's fine. And I started having trouble ever since. Yeah. So I thought she got her away, and I thought, well, she wanted me after my emails. I said, maybe she's trying to poison me or something. <laughs> no, because she said, uh, you look. Uh, like you're in pretty good shape. Can you tell me how to lose some weight, 25, 30 pounds? Well, because she said we'd go walk and stuff together, and I said, well, I'll help you. Well, when I got back home, I seen her in an email. I said, you need to buy lots of water, quit drinking diet and pop, and buy 35 calorie bread or no bread at all. Well, I think that must have offended her. But she asked me, and then ain't heard nothing else since, you know. Oh, my.